Hey guys, welcome to my channel Macmart. Our today topic is strains and cantilever beams. Please remember in first exercise we have evaluated or discussed the stresses due to uniform loadings and then in the next exercise we calculated and evaluated the displacements and now uh, we will talk about stands and cantilever beams due to the axial loading. So the goal of this workshop are uh, we will have, have some overview of stands and we will uh, define normal and shear stands and we will see how to calculate stands contours and sidewalks and how to calculate strains from displacement obtained from sidewalk simulations. This is the important point. Uh, that actual strain is just a simple uh, displacement ratio. So if we can calculate the displacements for from server simulations, we can convert the, those displacements into strain value. And we will see that the both results will be same. The strains and we will also examine the which the strain component and non-zero component in the case of uniform axial loadings. And for exercise point of view, I am leaving the axial as plus bending loading for you. So you should you have to calculate the strains in the axial and bending loading. Okay, let's start our tutorials. Again, click on the right planes and just draw a corner rectangle, dimension this rectangle, again this is the 10, this is 20, exit sketch, extrude this section, this is about 100 mm, okay okay just we have created uh, so enter the inside of simulation mod click on the simulations select new steady give it same strain okay again we uh, assign the material all as steel apply right click on the fixture fix symmetry fix this Right click on the strain load, select the force, select this piece, apply the force of 10,000, reverse the direction of the applied force. Ok, we have completed our loadings, just run this study. Wait until solution is complete, solution is completed. So double click on strains, you can see the strain is here. You can see strains is uh, almost uniform except to add the fixed port corners. We will what what is this? Uh, why this is happening? So uh, we will this is actual the stress concentrations. We will talk about stress concentration factor later. So just to neglect this section, this is not important for us. We are interested in the whole section you can see the strain is uniform that is about about this so you can also use the probes to examine the stress strains at any fan you can see this is 2 e power minus 5 by very low strains is here so our next to before Here, uh, before move forward, let's uh, have uh, some concept of strains. Strains are quantities to describe how a material in a body is stretched or distorted. Or more spe specific, the strains are displacement of a point relative to its neighboring points. Let's say uh, this is a 2D case. Uh, this is a point A, this point B, this point C. Let's say this point has been deformed or stretched or distorted from A to A dash, B to B dash and C to C dash. So this, these points have been deformed to the, and this is a new 
point so, so let us consider point A and its neighboring point B and C which are respectively along x axis and y axis suppose that after the formation ABC displaces to a new position configuration A dash B dash C dash keep in mind that the following illustration we assume the formation is infinitesimally small under small deformation and option the normal strain in x directions and the y direction will be a dash b dash a a b this strains minus a b over a b similarly c dash a dash minus c a r a c over a c so these are sigma x and sigma y are the normal strains and these are the dimensionless The strains in X and Y are the normal strains, but you can see here the, uh, also there are some change in angle. This is angle is 90 from B, A, C angle is 90, but the angle B dash A dash C is not 90. So oh, you can see that angle is also changing during the formation. So the change in angular dimensions is called the shear strains. So that is gamma and yeah, is the difference between two angles 90 angle this is this is this and uh, you can see the normal strains are dimensionless but the shear strains can be considered regarded as dimensionless but are this is its, it's uh, units are radians so in order to describe a, a strain state uh, we have to if we uh, suppose the z direction so we will need the three six components of strains three are the normal components along x y z and three are the shear components so next is how to calculate calculation of strain from displacement uh, let me come back to the server interface you can see the strain from here is 0 0.002 something so uh, right click on displacement added definitions and just uh, select the x directions okay use the probe and just sorry double click here okay use the probe just note that this is the point zero zero six eight and you can see from here this is node number this this is the locations of in the x directions So you can see from here that the strains can be calculated from here just simple uh, this value minus this value or this value this is the location value 56.8 is the location value 32.4 uh, is location value so just uh, from this formula delta u x is the difference between displacement between two points and delta x is the displacement difference between the locations of the those two points if you just follow the simple formula the results will be this and that result is similar as have been observed in the strain contours So I think uh, you have got my point that how to calculate the strains when displacements have been calculated from the simulation results. I think you have enjoyed my this tutorials and similarly I, I am 
given you an exercise so please perform the strains calculations uh, on a cantilever beams uh, due to both axial and bend axial and bending loadings and also perform calculate the strains from the displacement obtained from the server simulations okay again please subscribe like and share my channels and keep on viewing my channels for more upcoming tutorials okay goodbye